Hey guys, some stupid sketch show guy here with another figure news video, and it's been a while. It's been three months since the last one, and coincidentally, it was talking about Safari Limited reveals, and this episode is going to continue the story. And, uh, this is also a special video for a few reasons. Mainly, this is the first video that I'm making as a legal adult because I turned 18 three days ago. I appreciate anyone who showed up to the birthday stream that no one will ever see again, ever. Still, it was fun to make that memory, and I'm glad you guys have been watching my videos long enough to see me turn into a man, even if I still look like I am 14. Eh, whatever, it means I look young, and I appreciate it. Anyways, let's talk about Safari Limited, shall we? We got two new reveals, one from their Dino Dana line, and one from the one that I'm a bit more excited about, the Wild Safari line. So let's get into it. So first up, we got the figure that got revealed first, and my least favorite of the two that have been revealed, the Dino Dana Stiggy Moloch. I mean, it looks alright from some angles, I'll give you that. And honestly, I'm a lot more grateful for this model after seeing what the actual Stiggy Moloch model looks like in the Dino Dana show. Yeah. Now, back to the model. It's, um... It's good. I, I think it's alright. Like, it, the paint scheme, it's accurate to the show, and it's different, you know? It's not your usual brown color, it's nice and pink. I think it's a perfectly average figure. Not bad like, say, the Nano Tyrannus, which I really don't like, but it's not a great figure like the Zool. It's the midpoint of the Dino Dana figures this year, and if you wanted a colorful, pinkish, purplish, Pachycephalosaurid, then get the, get the Draco Rex by Schleich. I mean, it's purple, not pink, but like, come on, this is way better. This is a way better choice. But on its own, the Siki Moloch, pretty good. But it doesn't exactly compare to the other figure that got revealed today that inspired me to make this video. They're Cryolophosaurus. And honestly, it's about dang time. And, if you compare it to the Carnegie Cryolophosaurus, which in my opinion is one of the ultimate tests for any Safari Limited figure that was also done by them in the past, it actually compares pretty well. And it's not like they did a bad job on their first Cryolophosaurus. This is regarded as one of the best Carnegie figures and is also one of the rarest because people like this thing. And you know what? It still compares very fairly. I think this generation is going to get itself a good Safari Limited Cryolophosaurus. The main thing that makes this Cryolophosaurus stand out from its predecessor is the paint scheme, which reminds me of the Dinosaur Revolution Cryolophosaurus. No, not that one. The one that got emasculated in front of his girlfriend. Poor guy. Well, at least he gets a figure based off of him somewhat. I'm not a huge fan of the brown below. It's good, but I just am noticing that they're doing this quite a lot. Like, this is kind of a running theme with their theropods in the last couple of years, and I think it should get a little bit of a rest. Just slightly. It's not bad on its own, it's just that it's starting to get a little bit repetitive. If I had any other nitpicks, it's that I kind of was hoping that the blue on top stayed more consistent rather than transitioning into some tail stripes. But when I watched Andy's Dinosaur Reviews' video on the Cryolophosaurus, they looked a bit better in person rather than in the promotional images. So maybe it was just the angle and the saturation of the photo that kind of threw me off slightly. It's still a great paint job. My favorite part definitely is the signature crest. And I kind of like that the Carnegie Cryolophosaurus had a blue one, but this one has a red one. So if you happen to be one of those old collectors like me and maybe get both, you could have this be a female and the other one be a male, or vice versa, you know? Have some sexual dimorphism. But that's just more about what I was thinking. I think what everyone else is thinking is that we get another Cryolophosaurus figure, and Cryolophosaurus is a decently popular dinosaur with not a lot of representation in figure form, especially at the highest quality. So for you Antarctic fans out there, this one's for you. And that's basically about it for now. I look forward to seeing what Safari Limited may have in store later this year, but for now, these 
mid-year reveals are really good. I think they are a nice fine addition to what we've already seen in previous reveals. And you know what, Safari? I kind of dig this gradual reveal thing going on. You know, a couple of figures over the course of the year rather than putting all your figures into just one big batch. I think we should keep this up. Oh, that, that was a flicker. Keep up the good work, Safari Limited. The Cryolophosaurus fans are pleased.